Merry meet everyone, and in this video, I would like to discuss with you sigil magic. Basically, what sigil magic is, is when you take your intention and you form a symbol out of it. Um, so, I'm going to kind of walk you through um, some ways that you can create your symbol and ways that you can incorporate it into your practice and um, also a way that you can charge your symbol. So, the first thing you want to do is write out your intention. So, write your intention and... Um, Go ahead and cross out any vowels. Once you've crossed out all the vowels, go ahead and rewrite out what the letters are that you have left over. Once you have that wrote out, then you can go through there and cross out any repeat letters. So cross out any repeated letters. Um, after that, rewrite what you have left with your letters, and that will be the letters that you can use to create your sigil. Um, you can also use numbers as well. Um, so um, once that you have your letters you can just create your sigil <laughs> and um, really it can be any kind of design or style that you want you can just experiment and create it but usually the first one that you make is going to be the one that's going to have the most energy and the most power in it because that's going to be the one that you put most of your um, energy you know into it and you're going to also want to be sure that you're when you create your sigil that you're also you know working on a higher vibration so you may want to get in a meditative meditation state or, um, you know, whatever you do, you know, hold a crystal or whatever you might want to do to get you to that um, higher vibrational frequency where you'll be working on it. So then it'll make it even more um, powerful and stronger with your energies. Okay, and I do have some notes here. So once that you have your finished sickle, you can use it on pretty much anything that you want. So you can sew it onto um, like a little sachet bag that you carry herbs in. You can put it on like... Um, a sheet of paper and carry it with you or maybe like some cardstock and carry that with you in your pocket you could also um, wood burn it onto some wood and create your own style of that um, you can also just um, let me see I had some else down. oh yeah you can also put it on a crystal if you want and really it's endless on where you put your where you put your sigil and how you use it um, but you know like the most important thing is your intention and that you are vibrating on a higher frequency when you create your sigil. So um, the next thing you want to do is charge your sigil. Now some of the ways that you can charge it would be um, through sexual energy, um, your own blood, um, during circle magic, um, by chanting or stating an affirmation or stating your intention. Uh, also, you could do it by an emotional outburst <laughs> or even um, during visualizations or meditation. Um, so basically, you want to go into whatever method works best for you, hold it in your hand, and focus into it, you know, what the intention is for it. And charge it up with your energies and its use, what you're going to use it for. And so once you've done that... You're going to want to put it like on your altar or, you know, carry it with you or whatever you want to do. You know, it's really up to you on how you use your um, sickle. But it's going to be very, a very powerful symbol and it will only make sense to you. And um, it's also best to kind of just keep it to yourself in private. You don't really want to, you know, share it with others or unless you create one to share with others, you can definitely do that. But if you're making a personal one, just like any kind of spells or anything like that you don't go around and just share the information you keep it private to yourself because it's sacred and it's special to you and you only so and it's it holds more power that way as well so let's see um, um you can also do it out of um, numbers as well so um that's really about it um so yeah just have an intention write it down cross out all the vowels, write, rewrite it. After you've crossed out the vowels, go ahead and cross out any repeated letters and you have your sigil. From there, you can then create your sacred symbol um, to use in magical purposes. So I hope this video helped anyone. Um, I know that this is um, something I like to work on in my practice. Uh, I just recently actually found out exactly what it was called. <laughs> but um, I mess around with symbols and create little things like that. And I'm sure a lot of you do as well. Like. Um, carving different symbols into candle wax, you know, that you're putting your focus and intention into a candle. Um, really, that's about it. So, um, if you have any questions or um, 
any concerns or ideas or anything, just leave a comment below. And um, I thank you all for watching and hope you have a blessed week. Blessings.